Welcome to another edition of Inside the Huddle. We are at the House of Blues here in downtown Dallas. I'm Bill Jones along with Jay Ratliff, who not each and every week, but every other week, it's Jay Ratliff hosting Inside the Huddle. Tashard Choice will be along as the co-host next week, but you can join us every week right here at the House of Blues on Monday nights for Inside the Huddle and right here at 11.30 on Sunday mornings for on TXA 21 and you had an off weekend last week, Jay. What in the world do you do on an off weekend? Absolutely nothing. You get as far away from just football as possible? You do nothing. Just rest. Don't watch football. Don't think about it. Just relax, relax and just rest. That's and it. But uh, the Cowboys had a very successful off weekend because you look at the NFC East and you had not only the Giants losing, the Eagles losing, but also the Redskins losing. How surprising is that at all three NFC East teams lose? That is very surprising. I mean, that rarely happens. So, uh, well, we're back in the game. That's all that matters right now. So we need to come out and just dominate this game and win. Well, uh, of course, this game against the Atlanta Falcons, we'll get into that over the course of the next half hour. We've got a very special guest as well, and we really don't have to do much on this show because Marty BTV is on this show. Absolutely. Self-made Marty B. What's his name? <laughs> Self-made Marty BTV joins us on Inside the Huddle, and uh, let's go uh, downstairs inside the huddle here at the House of Blues. What do you say? Ready to go. Time for Inside the Huddle. And now we are inside the huddle here in the restaurant area at the House of Blues. And it's a new and improved Inside the Huddle with Jay Ratliff as the co-host this week because we've got a graphic over your shoulder here, Jay. And you no longer have Tashard Choice's picture on your graphic. Finally, you now have, officially right. have the Jay Ratliff graphic back there. And it's a great pose there, too. Mm -hmm. One that Cowboy fans are very familiar with after you make a sack, right? Yeah, that's Did a you personally pick movement. it out? <laughs> yeah, I had a little help. Um, it actually came with came from my daughter. Oh, really? Yeah, my oldest daughter um, mm. was watching the Hulk, and um, I was playing around one time. My wife didn't know this story, and um, you know he did this Hulk smash with these two tanks of cars or whatever he had, and I was like, I like that, and you know I did it, and she came home one day was like. Daddy, I saw you do the Hulk thing, and I never stopped doing it since. So every time that you make a sack in it's a Cowboys baby girl. game, it's you baby think girl. of your daughter. All day long. Yeah? Yep. All right. Well, you're, uh, hopefully, the Cowboy fans are hoping that you have a lot of those poses uh, when the Atlanta Falcons come here to Cowboys Stadium mm -hmm. on uh, Sunday afternoon. And, you know, the Falcons, mm -hmm. you watch them on Sunday night, pretty impressive 4-1 and one record so far. They, they really are. Um, I was watching them on film today, and they create a lot of misdirection. And um, if you're not disciplined, they will gas you. You have to be disciplined every single play. So I'm looking forward to this game. Um, I'm from Georgia, uh, you know, and uh, this is one of those games I'm, I'm, I'm going to be pretty pumped up for. All right, so growing up in Georgia, were mm -hmm. you a Falcons fan? Well, I really didn't watch football, to be honest with you, but uh, everyone in the house was a Falcons fan, especially when the Falcons had that run and everyone's doing a little dirty bird and <laughs> Jamal Anderson was, was, you know, created and everything. Um, so that's, that's how I grew up, and uh, it, it's, it's going to be fun to play these guys. All right, uh, and one guy that uh, this week is very uh, special to, you have to think, is Keith Brooking, a guy mm -hmm. who uh, is leading tackler on the Cowboys team mm -hmm. through uh, five games, spent 11 years in Atlanta, he grew up in Atlanta, played peewee ball there, middle school, high school, played at Georgia Tech. Georgia boy. What do, what do you think is going through his mind as his former team? I mean, he played 11 years mm -hmm. with the Falcons and well, made I'm five pretty, I'm pretty Bowls, sure so. he's going to be just as pumped up as I am, and I'm going to feed off of him. Uh, I know what kind of player Brooking is. Um, he's very passionate. He came in early and just, just took over and became a leader. And um, it's, I mean, it, it surprised a lot of people, but I, I'm telling you, I'm, a, I'm one of his biggest supporters. I never told him that, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about Brooking that, uh, that impresses you so much? What I like about him, he plays with a lot of passion. Uh, he doesn't separate himself from anyone uh, or, you know, kind of look down on anyone. But, you, you know, he's a guy who has experience. He knows what he's talking about. And um, he just wants to win. I mean, it, it's not him talking in front of the coaches or, you know, wanting to be seen or any camera time. It's, it's a, a genuine guy who wants to win. 
And you can't do anything but respect a guy like that. All right, we've got a very special guest here on Inside the Huddle this week, a guy that you're very familiar with because he has his own television show here on TXA 21 as well, Martellus Bennett. Okay, before Marty B comes up here, mm -hmm. is there anything that you can tell us about Martellus that, um, mm -hmm. that we don't already know about him? I, I don't know. I, I love Martellus. Martellus, my boy. That's, uh, I, I don't talk very much. <laughs> I, I don't talk very much, but, you know, when I'm talking, uh, that, that's one of the guys I talk to. Uh, what I love about him, he's just real. He's just him. And, you know, like he catch a little slack from that. But uh, what I always say to him, don't change. Be you. I mean, I, I feed off that, too, believe it or not. And, um, you know, everything he does is, is he does it himself. He markets himself. I mean, you know, everything himself. And he got a little name for himself. I think he did a great job. I hope he continues to do it. I hope he grows up even bigger. So, yeah, it's pretty yeah. amazing just in his second year in the, in the league already mm -hmm. has such a name for himself. All right, he's Jay Ratliff. I'm Bill Jones. We continue with Inside the Huddle and Marty BTV here at the House of Blues and on TXA 21 in just a moment. Closed captioning for Inside the Huddle provided by Grand Marnier. Share genuine moments with Grand Marnier. Scientific tests prove when you drink Dr. Pepper slow, 23 flavors taste even better. For me, slow always produces a hit. Step aside for a minute. Check this out. Slow is better. Trust me, Dr. There's never been a better time to book an Apple vacation, and people are more creative than ever in saving up for the vacation they deserve. I'd give up my gym membership. I'd give up cigarettes. I'd eat out less often. I'd give up my $5 latte. I would ride public transportation. Don't mess with my vacation. Apple Vacations is offering the best prices of the season. Hurry, these deals won't last. With these prices, I don't have to give up anything. <laughs> Bob Lavelle here with my good friends Pugs and Kelly. Now guys, I noticed on a previous station, you weren't allowed to talk much, but you're a talk show. What's up with that? Oh, and Pugs, is it true that you're a brand new father? Oh, and, and Kelly, uh, you know, you never really got to talk either. I bet you've got a lot to say, right? So, for the talk you've been missing, tune to 1360 AM, Monday through Friday, 1 to 4 PM. Good move, guys. Save your talk for radio. Smart. for Dallas Cowboys cornerback Allen Ball. Running back to Shard Choice and cornerback Orlando Skandrick requires strength, preparation, vision, and focus. But it no longer requires contact lenses. At least not anymore. Thanks to eye LASIK by Dr. Harvey Carter, official eye surgeon of your Dallas Cowboys. Call to be a part of the Carter Cowboys LASIK celebration. Thank you, Dr. Carter. This segment of Inside the Huddle is brought to you by Home Marketing Services, HMS, helping the homeless one renter at a time, and Toyota of Irving. Okay, no telling what's going to happen next here on Inside the Huddle. I'm Bill Jones along with Jay Ratliff and our special guest this week here on TXA 21 and at the House of Blues here in downtown Dallas. We've got Marty B. TV in the house. How about we, let's hear it for Martellus Bennett. What's up? <laughs> so, I'm a resident from Pluto. Well, no, Jupiter. I'm from Jupiter. Jupiter. My bad. Jupiter. I'm a Pluto, my bad. That's all right. Pluto's you know, no longer a planet. Pluto's know, no away, longer huh? a planet. Yeah, it's, it's floating away. It's considered a, a comet or an asteroid now. It's a rock. Yeah, typical. You know how I knew that Martellus Bennett was going to be our special guest tonight? Because I follow Martellus on Twitter. You follow me on, if That's you right. do not follow me on Twitter, you're lost. You need to follow me on Twitter at Jupiter's with an S underscore crunch. Make sure you follow me. <laughs> Jupiter's Crunch. Where'd you come up with that name? Jupiter is where I'm from, and Captain Crunch is my favorite cereal. You know, a lot of times we like to talk about, uh, you know, we talked about uh, what Jay did on his off weekend, the bye weekend. What about you, Martellus? I'm, I'm a little afraid to ask you what you did. I mean, because I'm pretty weekend. boring. I just stay home. I didn't I'm, do anything. A lot, people, a lot of people expect me to be like a huge partier or something like that, but I really don't party. So this weekend I just chilled. I left the house maybe three times, and that was to eat, 
and go to the movies. I'm a movie hopper. All right, Double I, Jeopardy. I, asked, I asked Jay. Double Jeopardy. And Jay said he basically got as far away from football as possible. I did. Um, I went and purchased a car. Oh, wow. What kind of car? Did you, get, that, Earth did you get the Audi A? My man, Brad. Negative. <laughs> I got uh, something I didn't think I would get. What did you get? Yeah, the BMW convertible. Which one, 650? Yeah, it's fine. That's 650. You're so fine, late. Man. It's fine. <laughs> well, hey, look, I'm enjoying Been it. Been there, right done now. there. I'm looking for the next car now. <laughs> hey, but it's a great car. It is. BMWs it are is. good. You is. know, well, do not I put limbs on it, it, though. Keep the fact that I don't do that. All right. You already know, man. Get your grown man on. There you go. Yeah. Too old for that right now. What do you think about this game against the Falcons this week? Against who? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all actually talk about football on this show? No. A little bit, man. They got a pretty good tight end on their team, don't they? They got a what? A pretty good tight end. Yeah, he is one of the best. You know, Tony, Tony Gonzalez. Just, he's one of the guys that I looked up to when I was in college. I watched a lot of film on him, a lot of things that he did. And I tried to base my game off of, like what Jay said earlier, when he watches football, he always crit critiques everything that's going on. I did the same thing with Tony Gonzalez as I was growing up. So. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things he do, they get to see at practice because I stole it from him, and I do it at practice now. So it's pretty cool. And, it's working for him. And like you, he's a former college basketball player too. But I'm a much better basketball player than Tony Gonzalez. Uh, you know what? <laughs> he, I, have to, I have to agree with him. The, the guy can play some ball. He, he really can. I've seen him in the gym yeah. before. This is, that's what I do. I shoot baskets, you know. Um, the thing, I, I pretty much, I can shoot anytime, anywhere. So if any one of y'all want to challenge me for dinner, steak, a suit, wherever it may be, free throws, three-pointers, we could go out there and play, and I will take the challenge. Jay, you don't believe do you, that do, we, do you yeah. jump high? Uh, you know what? I know where you're going <laughs> he with might, this. <laughs> he got extra tennis. You saw him block the field goal. What, what did happen on that? It was, um, it was something that we actually saw on film. Uh, coach Jody, our special team coach, the guys came in. You know, tough, tough guy. I mean, you can't complain about pain. He's dealing with a lot. But um, he, it was something that he saw on film, and um, I thought Igor and Spears had great push and holding the guys down, and I was able to get over him. That was a big play for us, too. People don't realize how big special teams are. You say, mm -hmm. pay so much attention to the defense and to the offense. And Joe D's the guy who came in this year and did a, did, did a great job so far with the special teams. We improved dramatically from last year. So it's a thing that's continued to grow with us, and it's a part that everybody's buying into you know a mm -hmm. lot of guys don't buy into special teams like i ain't about to go out there and tackle nobody on special mm -hmm. teams you know hey i, I tell you what we got to take a break okay a break? we're going to take, take on this show? we're going to take break. one we're going to pay for the show here and hold that thought if you can hold it i know you've got add but you can hold that thought right? i'm suffering from add tremendously <laughs> okay we're going to hold that thought we're going to come back with martellus bennett telling the story about demarcus ware when inside the huddle continues in a moment <laughs> this segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Carter Eye Center, the official LASIK surgery center of the Dallas Cowboys, and Earth Motor Cars, world-class pre-owned vehicles at down-to-earth prices. Send in the next group. Martellus, what are you doing? I'm just trying to get some Papa John's, j Dog. Sir? Papa John's, just take the pizza. This season, the Papa John's Cowboys Unlimited Combo is just $11.99. That's a large Papa John's pizza with unlimited toppings and a Pepsi 2 liter for $11.99. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Radliff? Choice? We're going to need some more pizza. Scientific tests prove when you drink Dr. Pepper slow, 23 flavors taste even better. For me, slow always produces a hit. Step aside for a minute. Check this out. Slower is better. Trust me. Doc. Yeah. Hi folks, this is Vince with Toyota of Irving, and I'm standing here with Lou from Dallas. Lou, can you tell us what kind of Toyota you bought from Toyota of Irving? It was a Camry. Excellent. Can you tell us why you bought a new Camry from Toyota of Irving? Uh, this is my third Camry. I really love them. Uh, I also looked at uh, many dealerships in the area. Uh, I came here, the people really treated me wonderfully, and they gave me a great price. Another actual customer. Come see us at 183 and Story Road or on the web at toyotaverving.com. There's never been a better time to book an Apple vacation, and people are more creative than ever in saving up for the vacation they deserve. I give up my gym membership. I give up cigarettes. 
I'd eat out less often. I'd give out my $5 latte. I would ride public transportation. Don't mess with my vacation. Apple Vacations is offering the best prices of the season. Hurry, these deals won't last. With these prices, I don't have to give up anything. This segment of Inside the Huddle is brought to you by Apple Vacations, America's favorite vacation company, and Occidental Hotels and Resorts, raising the bar for all-inclusive vacations. And welcome back to Inside the Huddle with Jay Ratliff. I'm Bill Jones here on TXA 21, and Martellus Bennett is our special guest. And where were we, Martellus? I can't remember. Hello, Dallas. We're talking about the proposal. The oh. proposal. See, I knew so, Martellus wouldn't remember. They call me. Thanks, I, Jay. I held on to that thought. Okay. I don't hold on to a lot of things, but I, hold, I held on to that thought. So the ball. We, do, we do a. High and tight. They have to throw you I the hold ball on to the for ball. you to hold okay, on to it, though. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I agree. Um, <laughs> I concur. But for the most part, this, I'm, they call me Marty B. the Love Doctor. If you ever need love advice, come holler at me or just follow me on Twitter. I, I tweet it out all the time. So we're at. We're doing the show, the radio show that we do together, me, Jay Ratliff, and DeMarcus Ware. It's a great time. If you haven't been there, you got to make sure you come. So they got this couple there. You know, this is a guy who said, Mar Martellus, I know you look like you're wise beyond your years. And I was like, you're correct, sir. You know, because, you know, I never throw, throw back a compliment. You know, I take them all. So you feel like compliment me every time. Just go ahead and tell me. So anyway, he's talking about how he want to get married and things he want to do for his wife. And, uh, you know, I gave him some advice. And uh, his, the lady that he want to marry was there. So I brought them both down to the center stage. This is in front of like 500 people. Mm -hmm. And I told him what to say, and he proposed to her right there. And she said yes. So you but were like the, the preacher? The story. I it's was. I was like Pastor Bennett. My grandpa's a pastor. I watched him do it for 10 years. I know how to do it now. <laughs> the kicker of the story is the woman like rejected him like what, three times? She rejected him three times, three before, times before that. Martellus Bennett, the love guru, came in <laughs> and gave his advice. The love doctor came in and mended the relationship. I'm the love doctor. All right, you want to talk football it. for a second? Let's talk football. All right. What do you want to know? What about this offense? What about Martellus Bennett's role in this offense? Are you happy? I'm happy. You know, we, wherever, it, wherever it takes, I'm a wherever it takes guy. Wherever mm -hmm. it takes to win games, to be part of this team. Every single game I go out and give my all. Every single practice I go out and give my all. That's one thing mm -hmm. my teammates respect me for. I'm not a guy to go complain about getting the ball or throw me the ball, I need the ball. It's not my style. We left that with T.O. And I saw what happened to T.O. when he did it. Now I don't want to leave Dallas because I love the Cowboys. So I, <laughs> you know, before, before you trip over a stick, you got a guy to watch that trips over it first. You don't want to trip over the same stick that he did. So um, words of wisdom from Martellus Martin. Well, thank you. I learned <laughs> but, that from Gandhi. But, he's, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's true what he said. He, he does go out and practice, and he, and he, and he works hard. and. Um, with the plays just given, he, he does, you know, give his all. He, he blocks, and that's the dirty work of a tight end. Trust me, I know I play some tight end myself. Uh, you don't get any glory for that. You don't really get any credit for it, but it's what's necessary for the team to win and, and to shard or, or Marion or Felix to, to, to find holes. It, it's all part of it. But it, when he does catch a ball, he's, I know he's getting yards after contact. Um, and it's going to take more than one guy to bring him down. I'm just so those trying to are all remember the when that last happened in. because he never gets thrown the ball. Hey, it's okay. it, it happened. All right, I explain 12 personnel. 12 personnel is when they put my sexiness in the game and they put Jason Witten <laughs> in the game at the same time. So it's two tight. So, so it's one, one running back, two tight ends. Yeah, two receivers. So anytime that happens, we could go, we could go no backs because we got running backs that are capable of catching the ball out wide and running routes. You got Felix Jones and mm. Tashar who's really, really good at that. So what happens is the linebacker can't cover me one-on-one, -on -one, so they have to move the safety out. Sometimes, like the Tampa Bay game, the receivers got mismatches. They have safeties on the receivers. Roy Williams running down the field. Patrick Creighton outran somebody. You know it had to be a linebacker if Patrick Creighton outran him. <laughs> so, hey, now, now, to, to Patrick Creighton's defense, he has gotten a lot faster. You, you wasn't here before then? But he went to that Michael, Michael Vick school. And Michael Johnson. Or what, whoever, Michael, Michael, Michael Vick Johnson. doesn't have any school. <laughs> hey, come on down. Michael to, Vick. Come on down to Michael Vick's dog hey, training. Like Vick. Where we train dogs. Uh, but, yeah. Man's best friend or Michael yeah, Vick. But anyways, but yeah, Michael Johnson. <laughs> he went to his school. He has got a lot faster for he that. Has. Would you let Michael Vick train your dog? All right, we're going to continue with more of Inside the Is Huddle. Dog not no telling home? what is going to come out of Martellus Bennett's mouth hey, next here on Inside the Huddle hey, at the Mike, House of Blues. Hey, Mike, my dog's not sitting. 
<laughs> this segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Sports Connection, your number one stop for Dallas Cowboys ticket packages and sports-related travel. And Lux Audio. Bob Lavelle for Home Marketing Services. At HMS, we're a different kind of company. Sure, we provide complete real estate services and we offer a full line of mortgage products. Heck, we even help people with bumps and bruises on credit. But the fact that we do this all under one roof, that's different. The fact that we've been selected as one of the top 10 best mortgage brokers in the United States, well, that's just too cool. Get out of the rent race, call HMS. Send in the next group. Martellus, what are you doing? I'm just trying to get some Papa John's, Jay dog Sir? Papa John's? Just take the pizza. This season, the Papa John's Cowboys Unlimited Combo is just $11.99. That's a large Papa John's pizza with unlimited toppings and a Pepsi 2 liter for $11.99. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. Ratliff? Choice? We're going to need some more pizza. for Dallas Cowboys cornerback Allen Ball. Running back to Shard Choice and cornerback Orlando Skandrick requires strength, preparation, vision, and focus. But it no longer requires contact lenses. <laughs> At least not anymore. Thanks to eye LASIK by Dr. Harvey Carter, official eye surgeon of your Dallas Cowboys. Call to be a part of the Carter Cowboys LASIK celebration. Thank you, Dr. Carter. Hi folks, this is Vince with Toyota of Irving and I'm standing here with Lou from Dallas. Lou, can you tell us what kind of Toyota you bought from Toyota of Irving? It was a Camry. Excellent. Can you tell us why you bought a new Camry from Toyota of Irving? Uh, this is my third Camry. I really love them. Uh, I also looked at uh, many dealerships in the area. Uh, I came here, the people really treated me wonderfully and they gave me a great price. Another actual customer, come see us at 183 and Story Road or on the web at toyotaofirving.com. This segment of Inside the Huddle is brought to you by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's and all-natural Snapple. The best stuff on earth just got better. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. We're at the House of Blues every single Monday night during the 2009 Cowboys regular season. I'm Bill Jones. Jay Ratliff is the co-host this week. And Martellus Bennett has graced us, graced us with his presence this week. I'm happy I could be here. You know, this is this is why this is my second job. You know, away from football is TV. <laughs> so, and by the way, of course, you can watch Martellus Bennett's own TV show right here on TXA 21, 9:30 every uh, Sunday morning. Or if you don't want to wait to Sunday, you can just log on to Marty B TV on YouTube and watch me at any time. <laughs> 24 Kevin hours Kwan. a day. Yeah, so Marty B TV, where there's never a rerun. If you watch it again, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> that's our model. That's our model on Marty B TV. That's good. That's good. All right. Jay, you got some you have a, a probing question for Martellus? Uh, let's see here. Come on, Oprah. Oh wow. That's I always want to be on the Oprah show. Once you go on the Oprah show, you famous. She give away wash machines and cars. Come on. Are y'all gonna give me a Bro. car? Oh no, they ain't happy. <laughs> okay. You buy everything here. Oh. It ain't like the movies. It's not like the movies? Uh-uh. I love movies. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, well, obviously, uh, but you know, you're playing behind, you know, Jason Witten. He's a. I play along the side of Jason Witten, not behind. Yeah, he made seven starts last year. How yeah, many you starts you got this year? So far? Witten, you know what I mean? Because they get a 21 personnel. One. Who's in? Okay, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. All right. Now. That's cold. Oh, and that's cold and just, just in case you don't know, there's two backs and one tight, tight end. end. The two. Oh, you're, you're <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have to know that because, you know, Thank I, I you, Dice. On it. But, um. <laughs> but, um. You, you know what kind of player he is, and you know the, uh, you know, the, everyone's already talking about Hall of Fame and this, that, and the other. Like, how do you feel playing in, you know, like, I guess almost, I don't want to say like his, his shadow, but, you know, just along with a guy like I'm that. I'm taller than Jason Witten, so I'm never in his <laughs> shadow. But for the most part, playing next to a guy like Jason mm -hmm. Witten, he's a guy that brings everything to the table. Mm -hmm. he's, he's the reason why I, since last year, the way you see me practicing now is because of Jason. I see the way he comes to the, everything he brings to the table is something that I try to do with myself. Mm -hmm. We're totally different athletes, you know. Yeah, yeah you are. I'm like, yeah. I'm like LeBron James, and he's like Lottie Divock, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but for the most part, he's a guy he's great to work with. You know, yeah. we have our fun in the meetings. He teaches me a whole lot. He's a teacher as well. Even though last year he just kind of let me learn on my own, but now 
Man, we've been a, we, our focus was being the best tight end duo that we could be. And it's, it's been growing great so well. He's a guy that I, I love when he catches the ball. I love when he makes a great block. Mm -hmm. I love when he makes big plays because he's my teammate. He's like a brother. We're a lot closer mm -hmm. than anybody else on the team because we're always together. You know, we're always watching film together. We're practicing together. We go, when we go through two days, we go through them together. Like me and him go through them together because we do the same exact thing. So mm -hmm. he's a guy, man, that's, man, he's a superb talent. And hopefully he makes the Hall of Fame. I mean, that's something I, mm -hmm. every player dreams of in their career. And if he does, hopefully he lets me give him his speech. Oh, man, can you imagine? <laughs> see, that, that's the reason I asked. I, I, I want everybody to see what kind of team we have and the quality of guys we have on this team. Um, it, it, it's not always about, like, a guy starting and the, and the guy behind him is jealous of him or something like that. You know, everyone learns from everyone. Like, if, if you're in that top position or you're in a starting role, you always turn around and teach the next man. I mean, and, and that, that's what it's all about on our team. But for the most part, man, this is a team that mm -hmm. I love being part of. Ever, ever since I've been playing football, this mm -hmm. is the type of team that I dreamed of being part of. A bunch of guys that have fun together, that plays the game, that loves one another. Of course, I love some players more than I love others. Like Jay, he, got, mm -hmm. he gets a lot of love from me. Somebody who doesn't get, Terrence Newman doesn't get a lot of love from me. But although I love him, you know. <laughs> ELE is my motto. Everybody love everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I appreciate it in the locker room. They walk by me, I just say ELE. Everybody love everybody. But for the mm. most part, man, it's a great team. Coaches, players, the trainers do a great job. You know, it's just a family. Yeah. All right, so stand, baby. Yeah, hopefully that if I can, <laughs> if I, it's supposed to be a family. So hopefully one day, if I can't pay my rent, just in case, you know, a lot of players, they blow money in the NFL, you know, strippers and everything else. They make it rain. <laughs> Have you ever made it rain? I can't say. Uh, he did back in the day. You see how red he turned? Like, he oh, I did it back in the day. He's guilty. He makes it rain, but All you know, right, for the time. All right, that does it for this edition of Inside the Huddle. Yeah, we want to thank the love doctor for joining us. Well, thank you. I would like to thank y'all for whoa, having whoa, whoa. me. Do you want to give the fans some lovely advice or anything for the women, the, the men ladies, need to know? Ladies, this is one thing I want to tell you before we end this show. You know, I usually don't do this because a lot of men get mad at me. Don't preach on my brother. But, you know, check this out. If he, if he turns to the side every time he text messaging, He's probably lying to you about who he's texting. So wow. make sure you check his phone, <laughs> unless it's my phone. Holla at your boy. This is Inside the Huddle. Jay Ratliff, Marty B, we signing out. Peace, love, and happiness. And that does it for Inside the Huddle. Sponsors of Inside the Huddle include Home Marketing Services, HMS, helping the homeless one renter at a time, the Carter Eye Center, official LASIK surgery center of the Dallas Cowboys, Earth Motor Cars, world-class pre-owned vehicles at down-to-earth prices. Occidental Hotels and Resorts and Apple Vacations. Sports Connection, your number one stop for Dallas Cowboys ticket packages and sports-related travel. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. All-natural Snapple, the best stuff on earth just got better. Toyota of Irving. And Lux Audio. Inside the Huddle is filmed live on location Monday nights at House of Blues in Victory Park. Log on to InsideTheHuddle.com for filming dates and showtimes. Video production services provided by Gridiron Films. Tune in next week and go Inside the Huddle, a production of Sports Media Incorporated.